Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is jam-packed with deep cleaning motivation. We're doing some everyday chores like dishes and laundry, and then we're also going to be steam cleaning carpets, cleaning out the oven, dusting really neglected spaces. I'm also sharing a weekly grocery haul and a crock pot recipe. Lots and lots packed into this one, so I hope it gives you all of the motivation to get up and tackle something in your home. If you're excited for some serious cleaning motivation today, give this video a thumbs up, but let's get started. Like I waited all my life, so happy that I found this was a gorgeous day in Arkansas. The temps were in the 70s and the sun was shining and anytime the weather is good, I feel so much more motivated to get stuff done around the house. Oliver actually went to play with his Nana this morning and so I decided while he's over there, I'm gonna get the bigger deep cleaning tasks done and then that way when I go pick him up, I'll just have to tackle some light cleaning around the house. So I started out by making myself a big glass of iced coffee and we're just starting out in our bedroom this morning. I needed to strip our sheets and do lots of dusting in here. I don't know what it is, but our master bedroom gets so dusty. I'm also gonna be doing some straightening up and then we're gonna steam clean these carpets. Anytime I have a big day of cleaning, I like to turn on one of my favorite YouTubers. And recently I've been loving Alexandra Buter. Her style is so cute. And I also love Amy Darley for cleaning motivation. I have so many other favorites, but I love listening to somebody else while I clean and it makes it a lot less boring when you're doing it with somebody else. So we had Amy Darley on today. Ever since we finished that huge decluttering series, our home is so much easier to keep clean. Um, we still don't put stuff away when we need to, like we still drop our shoes and jackets and stuff like that. But the great thing about all of this is that everything in our house has a home now. Whether it's in its home or not is another story, but cleaning seems so much less daunting now because I know right where to put everything and then I can just run the vacuum and we're done. And it's actually kind of fun to clean now and even will think so, which is saying a lot. If you missed those decluttering videos, I will link them below. It was a series of five videos and we tackled every single room in the house and it truly has been such a game changer. Um, if y'all have any really big spring projects that you're working on or decluttering projects, let's hear them down in the comments below. This weekend, we are gonna go get some flowers to plant in the backyard, as well as some stuff for our little raised garden bed. So we're excited about that. I also really need to pressure wash the side of our house because it's looking kind of gross. And so anyways, I have lots of cleaning and planting going on outside this next week, but I would love to hear what kind of projects y'all have going on. Okay, I have been chomping at the bit to tell y'all about these sheets. These are our white sheets from Cozy Earth and they are incredible. I've never been one to be super picky about sheets, but once you use Cozy Earth, there's literally no going back. They are so soft and cooling and overall just the best sheets ever. They come in this cute little packaging, but thank you so much to Cozy Earth for sponsoring today's video. In case you haven't heard of them, Cozy Earth is a premium bedding and loungewear company. Their products naturally wick moisture, reducing humidity and regulating your body temperature. We've actually been co-sleeping with Oliver, as y'all know, and it makes it super hard to stay cool with three people in a bed. So these sheets have made all the difference. They're also just so incredibly soft and they also have an enhanced weave that doesn't pill. The first time Oliver laid down on them, he actually looked at me and he was like shocked. And then he rubbed his hands across the sheet again and just giggled. He loved them just as much as we did, which is hilarious. But these sheets truly are the best. They have thousands of five-star reviews and they've been chosen five years in a row as one of Oprah's favorite things, which is so cool. And they have also become the bedding of choice for tons and tons of interior designers and celebrities. And I honestly just cannot say enough good things about them. They are just really good quality comfortable soft sheets and you need them in your life. I also have a lounge set from them that I love. I was wearing that at the beginning of this video. Just by far the softest pajamas I've ever owned and so so comfortable. 
Use my code LaurenY30 to get 30% off your purchase. Use the link in my description box and the discount code will be automatically applied to your order. And thank you so much to Cozy Earth for sponsoring today's video. Now that our whole decluttering series is over, I can really focus on the deep cleaning things that I need to do. I kind of let my house go whenever I was cleaning out closets and cleaning out the garage and the bedrooms because it's really hard to do all of that in one day. So I was strictly just like picking up toys at the end of the day and crashing. But now I can really focus on windexing and dusting, ceiling fans, baseboards, cleaning carpets, things like that. Our oven was so bad and I don't even know how because I literally just cleaned it like two months ago. But we're going to get that taken care of today. The kitchen floors were disgusting. We're going to get that taken care of. We're also kind of behind on laundry so we're going to do that. But I can honestly say, keeping up with the house now that everything is decluttered, we got rid of so much stuff, it is no big deal. I do not mind cleaning as long as I don't have a bunch of junk sitting around that has no place to go. Everything has a home and it's just so refreshing. I will just say that over and over and not feel bad because we worked really hard and now it feels really good. We're going to go ahead and wipe these windows down. Look, there's a dead mosquito in my window seal. That's gross. And we're going to get all of the mirrors wiped down. Everything dusted. The baseboards in here were so bad. I don't know what it is about our master bedroom, but I feel like it gets the most dusty out of any room in the house. And I can honestly remember as a kid, my mom saying the same thing about her room. So I wonder if there's something to that. I don't know. But lots of dust in here. We're just going to be doing lots and lots of deep cleaning. Oh, and I also got a really fun cleaning tool that I'm going to share with y'all later in the video. It actually didn't come until like, I was almost done with this whole video and then at like 10 o'clock at night I saw it on the doorstep and I grabbed it opened it up and I used it so I can't wait to share that it works so well it's kind of a popular tool in cleaning land on YouTube but I'm just now getting my hands on it so super excited to share that we had lots of laundry as you saw me carrying that out that hamper usually sits in our bathroom closet but it was full so I took it to the laundry room and here in a little bit Oliver is gonna help me sort that Back behind this faux fireplace was so dusty. I don't think I've pulled this out in over a year. And I really should have gotten my vacuum because dust was flying everywhere. But we went ahead and took our rag and got that taken care of. Now I'm scooting everything back. And we're going to move on to the other side of the room. Back behind this door and by the door in the cracks was so dusty. So we're going to take that take care of that and then also while I was dusting the baseboards I noticed that there was lots of marks on the wall and it wasn't I don't know I guess it was stuff that Oliver got on the wall little handprints little marks so I'm going to take my magic eraser here in a few minutes and go through and get all of those marks off here we go and I love magic erasers so much it always does the job it got all of those marks off and our walls are clean now
Now we're headed into the kitchen. I'm just gonna take a break from the master bedroom. We're actually gonna go back in there in a little bit and vacuum and steam clean. But I had a huge pile of dishes in the sink and it was driving me crazy. We didn't do dishes the day before and they piled up on this day too and it was just so gross. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse all of those dishes, put them in the dishwasher. I filled this thing to the brim. We actually had like almost every single dish in the house dirty, which is hilarious because before our decluttering series, that would have never happened. We had way too many dishes and we could have just kept going and kept going and <laughs> filled up the whole entire kitchen with dirty dishes um, but now it really limits us so me and Will are really bad about dishes a lot of times we'll do really good for like a week and do them every single night and then we'll just stop doing them for like two or three days and they pile up so fast and you end up using every single plate and then you have no dishes to use so that's really frustrating but anyways I love the fact that now that we've decluttered we have to do the dishes like at least every two days because we run out of plates and bowls and cups. <laughs> so that's what I was doing here, getting all cut up, caught up on dishes. We're gonna clean out the sink, wipe down the countertops and do some deep cleaning. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. Okay, y'all, when was the last time you cleaned out your dishwasher filter? I always forget this thing exists, except for like once in a while I'll think about it. And today, when I was closing the dishwasher, I thought about it and I was like, I'm gonna see how bad it is. It was actually not as bad as it was last time, but still super gross. There was all kinds of stuff caught up in there. So I'm gonna take a straw cleaner and just scrape it up in there to clean it and then just ditch the straw cleaner when I'm all done. But look at this so disgusting we're gonna take some dawn dish soap and run it through there too and put it back in Okay, so these are all of the dishes that would not fit in the dishwasher, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hand wash them. Normally, I will just rinse them off, set them in the sink, and wait for the dishwasher to get done. But since we were deep cleaning in here, I just really wanted a clean slate to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and hand wash all these and put them away. Same. Everything has changed every day. I never really had a favorite technique for washing dishes until here recently, and I have become obsessed with the scrub daddy sponges, the ones that don't have the foam on one side, because whenever you get the ones with the foam, they get stinky so fast, but these ones don't get smelly, and they also just work so well with cleaning dishes, cleaning out the sink, cleaning anything really, I've stocked up on them. But also the Dawn Power Wash dish soap that you spray is so convenient, I love that stuff. And I recently, I'm trying the fresh scent today. I usually get the apple scent. This fresh scent almost smells too strong, like perfume. And so next time I'm not gonna get this one. I'll probably try the lemon one next time. That's the one I almost got and I really should have because it's a nice like spring and summer scent. But I was like, I'm just gonna get the fresh one. But this one is really strong. But let me know, have you ever tried the fresh scented Dawn Power Wash? Do you like that smell or is it kind of strong? Because I don't know. It may just be me, but it was really, really strong. And no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but we got all the dishes done. Yay. I'm going to go ahead and dry these off, put them all away, and then we'll get to some more cleaning. Okay, another fun thing that I wanted to try today, I was busy looking for my power wash and I ran into this and I was like, I'm gonna try this because I'm in need of a new multi-surface spray. 
This one is lemon scented. It's the Mr. Clean and I love it. I love the way that it sprays. It's a lot like the Dawn Power Wash where it like sprays out. I hope that's what it's called. I think it's Dawn Power Wash, the one that you spray. Um, it sprays out so easy and you only have to spray one time and then go across your whole counter because it's still kind of like spraying. So I love that and this one smells so good. Judge before they know somebody. I just feel at home. Yeah, yeah. Our kitchen was smelling so good at this point. I always love lemon scented sprays in the spring and summer. It smells so fresh. And we actually were out of our lemon pine salt, so I ran to get some new mop solution and actually ran into another Mr. Clean product that I'm now obsessed with. It's the Mr. Clean Gain Scented Floor Cleaner and it smells so good. As y'all know, my laundry detergent that I use is the Powder Gain, and that Gain original smell smells so good, and so that's what we used on the floors today, and y'all, it's just incredible. It doesn't smell very chemically like a lot of floor cleaners like Pine Sol and, um, what's the other one? Fabuloso. A lot of those smell really chemically, but this one smelled really fresh and clean and kind of like I just got done doing a bunch of laundry. So good. And now we're headed over to the oven. This oven was so bad. I'm so embarrassed. Something must have spilled out in the bottom. I don't know what that is, but I honestly don't ever look at my oven until it comes time to clean it. And I'm like, wow, this is really bad. So Luckily, I have the self-clean feature on my oven, so I'm just going to close this up, turn on the self-clean, and go to Walmart for some groceries. I didn't want to leave y'all hanging, so I went ahead and fast-forwarded to the part where we opened up the oven after it had been cleaning for four hours, and this is what it looked like. I just took a wet rag with no soaps or anything on it, just wiped it down, and it came out perfectly clean. There are a few spots that it missed, but for the most part, it came out perfect, and yay, our oven is clean now. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you. Okay, I just got back from Walmart pickup and I got my grocery order. This week for dinners, we're doing a bean casserole one night, Olive Garden chicken pasta, that's what we're doing tonight. And it's a really easy and delicious crock pot meal. I'm gonna share that with y'all. We're doing breakfast for dinner one night, tacos one night, steak potatoes and salad one night. And then as an easy like Saturday meal, we'll do sloppy joes and mac and cheese. And I also needed to get some stuff for like sandwiches and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all of the groceries that we picked up. Diet Coke. Y'all know we're like huge Diet Coke fans and we'll go through this whole thing by the end of the week. Probably not the best for us, but it's one of those things. We gotta have it. Um, picked up some Wonder Bread and we got a taco kit because we're gonna be doing some beef crunchy tacos this week. I've not done that in so long and Will's been wanting tacos. So we're gonna do that. Picked up some scoops because I'm gonna make some guacamole to go with our tacos. I always pick these up for Oliver. Y'all know by now. I get them every single time. He loves these applesauce squeezed packets. I got Fruit Loops this time. We've been going with Cheerios the last few times, and I kind of wanted to switch things up, so that's fun. We got two new things of iced coffee. This is the Starbucks Medium Roast. These are so good, and I go through probably one every three days, so I get two every time I go, and they just did like a new packaging, and it's not as good quality, and it's just like dents really easy so that kind of sucks but really good iced coffee um got some jelly for Oliver's PB and J's we got some Italian dressing because we're going to be putting that in our crock pot recipe tonight I got tomato soup and pork and beans because that's going to go in our bean casserole we picked up some manwich normally I'll make homemade sloppy joes but we've been in such a hurry lately that it's just kind of nice to have things that I can whip up really fast um got some cut green beans to go with one of our dinners this week 
three avocados because I love avocado toast in the morning and also we're going to be making some guacamole at some point this week and I'm actually very impressed they picked really good avocado oh that one might be a little soft but they did a pretty good job picking avocados um, an onion for our bean casserole I picked up a cucumber because I really wanted Oliver to try a cucumber he's never had one and I think he'll really like it and that's healthy so I also picked up some vanilla Greek yogurt. Oliver loves this stuff. He will devour a whole bowl of it in the morning. So got to stock up on that. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I picked up like a million things of cheese on accident. So the Parmesan is for our recipe tonight. It called for shredded Parmesan. So got that. Got Fiesta blend for taco night. And then I know one of these mild cheddars is for the bean casserole. Don't remember what that's for, but I'm sure... I got it for some sort of recipe. I also picked up some OxyClean spray. That's what we use to get all of our stains out. And also for our carpet cleaning solution, which I'm gonna show with you or share with you in just a second, we're gonna be steam cleaning our carpets in the master bedroom. I picked up this snack pack. Um, the reason that's in a bag is because it's leaking. The lid was falling off, so. Um, it's not all gone though, so we're gonna just roll with it. But we picked this up. I usually like to get all of these Ritz bits. And here lately at Walmart, they do not have the large pack of Ritz Bits. I'm not sure why, but then I found this and I was like, well, he likes all this other stuff and that'll be fun, like snacks on the go. So got that. I picked up some romaine salad, some Colby Jack sliced cheese for our sandwiches. We did a sub night the other night where we made like fancy sandwiches with salami and pepperoni and ham on like that really soft hoagie bread from the Walmart deli. And that was so good. We toasted them in the oven. And it was so delicious. So we're going to hopefully do that again this week. We still have a lot of that meat left over. I got some cream cheese for our recipe tonight. Blueberries, strawberries. Those are Oliver's two favorite fruits ever. Got some eggplant because we've been loving to slice this up and fry it on nights when we do spaghetti. And that is so delicious. We used to do zucchini and now we're on an eggplant kick. Um, got some sour cream for taco night. Lots of noodles. I guess I was in a cheesy noodly mood whenever I ordered these groceries. But... We're doing mac and cheese with our sloppy joe, so I had to get elbows. We're doing our bean casserole, so I had to have the shells. We're doing spaghetti one night, had to have that. And then tonight we're doing penne. Wow, we're having a lot of pasta this week. Um, and then we got a green pepper for our, I'm gonna put that in with the manwich whenever I make sloppy joes. Got some traditional refried beans to go with our tacos on taco night. Sour cream for tacos. And then I also picked up some traditional prego sauce. That's our favorite spaghetti sauce, and it's easy. And then also some mesquite smoked turkey breast. So that's all for this side. I also picked up three things of ground beef for different recipes this week. And then this little, or this big thing of chicken breast. We will go through all of these chicken breasts in like two days. So we have to get that big pack. And then I went with Petagene smoked bacon. It's family owned and Arkansas made. So I had to get it. And we've been getting the great value hickory bacon and it just falls apart it's super thin so I'm hoping that this bacon won't do us tardy like that but I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and then I'm gonna share with you what we're doing for dinner Tonight for dinner, we're trying a new recipe in the crock pot. And what I loved about this is it only took three hours to cook. So if you're halfway through the day and you really wish you would have done a crock pot meal, here you go. Um, it was really good. I am going to tweak some things next time, but we really liked it. Um, basically, I just cut up some chicken breasts and laid them flat in the crock pot with a whole jar of that Olive Garden Italian dressing. It's a 16 ounce jar. And then on top of that, we put some minced garlic and pepper and Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top. And then you just let that cook on high for three hours. And then when that's done cooking, you add in one block of cream cheese and then kind of stir that in. And once that's good and melted, you stir in your penne pasta. We're just gonna let this cook for three hours and I'll come back when we're done vacuuming and steam cleaning the bedroom to share with you the rest. But this was so easy and really delicious. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed every day. 24-7, you call my name, and I will come running, yeah, every day, 24-7, yeah, every day, I will come... Now 
now headed back into the master bedroom. We're going to vacuum and steam clean in here. And if you missed it in my last video, Will actually fixed my Dyson for me. We put a new battery in it. One of y'all recommended that, so thank you. And then we also cleaned it out. It was full of dust and dirt, and Will took it all apart. And now it works so well. I feel so spoiled to have a vacuum that works again, um, which is so funny. But it just makes my life so much easier. This is how much dust came out of the master bedroom carpets. That's disgusting. Uh, now that we got that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and steam clean. And this is the solution that I like to use every single time. Downy Bliss Fabric Softener OxyClean Hydrogen Peroxide and then Dawn Dish Soap. And I'll link all of like the amounts that you need below. Whenever I'm mixing chemicals, I get kind of freaked out. That's why I'm wearing gloves. But I don't think any of that is anything to worry about. I use this every time and a ton of other people use this too. It's perfectly safe, but whenever I'm mixing chemicals, I just get weird. So that's why I'm wearing those gloves. We're going to get these carpets all cleaned up and it smelled so good in here when we were all done. steam cleaner works so well but one thing I always do when I'm doing like higher traffic areas or an area that has a spot I'll squeeze that handle a few more times and make the carpet a lot more wet than I would in a general area um, and it really helps get the stain up uh, but if it's just like a, an area that's not walked on a whole lot or doesn't have any spots I'll just do a once over like spray it one time and kind of just freshen it up and I used one whole gallon of the cleaner um, while just doing our master bedroom. So that's how much it takes about, so like if you're going to go to another room, you'd have to refill it up again. But our carpets in here are so fresh. I can't wait to get a hold of the living room rug next and Oliver's nursery. But this is what the water looked like afterwards. We've obviously seen worse than this before, but still pretty gross. <laughs> After grocery shopping, we always have a million boxes to break down. Plus, we just finished all of those eggs that my brother and sister-in-law gave us from their chickens. They gave us so many eggs, and that was such a blessing because eggs got really expensive there for a minute. Um, but we're going to break down all of those boxes, put them in the trash, and Oliver is my handy little helper here. Anytime you break out cleaning supplies, he's there. He likes the, the broom and the mop, mostly the mop. In fact, he's obsessed with the mop and almost to like an unhealthy <laughs> uh, point, he loves the mop so much. And we keep the mop in the garage and anytime he thinks about it, he'll go over to the garage door and say, mop, 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 mop. And he won't be quiet until we get him the mop. And so if anybody has a solution for that, does your toddler get like obsessed with one thing and want it all the time? Because nothing else in the house is like that for him, only the mop. And it's kind of funny because when the mop bucket has water in it, he is terrified of it, but still obsessed. Like he will stand five feet away and just point at it and say mop. So there's something about the mop that really intrigues him. I don't know what it is, but anytime I break out cleaning supplies at all, he is there. He loves to help me clean. His favorite thing ever is laundry. So you're going to see lots of Oliver here now. We're going to sort some laundry. I'm also just going to wipe down my washer and dryer with that Mr. Clean lemon scented spray. They were really dusty and get this laundry taken care of. So it looks like I'm really behind on laundry, but I'm actually doing so much better than I used to. We actually have a system now 
after that whole decluttering series, um, I keep these two baskets in the laundry room and I'll do one for clothes and one for towels. And we'll just throw the sheets in with the towels normally. We go through sheets all the time now that Oliver's co-sleeping with us because accidents happen, sweat happens, and they just get gross quicker. So we just throw the sheets in there with the towels and then put the clothes in the other one. And this works for us. And then once we empty out that bathroom hamper, we'll just go put that back in the bathroom. I'm actually going to throw a load of towels in, I believe, um, because I think that was the basket that was the most full. And Oliver loves to help me with this normally. I don't know where he was, but he usually likes to put all of the clothes in the dryer. And also every single video that I do laundry, I have people say, why don't you um, switch that door to open up on the other side? And that's a really good point. But the reason I don't is because I'd rather it be out of my way. Like if you, I don't know how to say this, but it's more out of my way when it's right there than if it were bonking that wall a million times. So I just keep it that way. It doesn't bother me. Okay, our crock pot chicken is almost done. It's about 30 minutes from being done. So I'm just gonna add a block of cream cheese in here and stir it up. And then we're going to just cook our penne noodles on the stove, add those in, stir it up, and this dinner is ready. We just served it with a salad and some garlic bread and it was delicious. Highly recommend. The only thing that I'll do different next time is adding a little bit less Italian dressing. It called for a whole bottle and I'll probably do like three fourths of a bottle or maybe even half because that taste in there was a little bit strong. Still really, really good. I have no complaints about what it tasted like. It was really delicious, but that's the only thing that I think I will change next time. Okay, I went ahead and put Oliver down for the night. I still needed to mop the kitchen floors and do some other things, but I don't know if y'all noticed this earlier whenever I was in the kitchen doing dishes. There was a lot of gunk in between the countertop and the sink in that little crack. And I've seen several other YouTubers do this, mostly Melina Brooke. And then I saw, um, what's her name? Whitney P. She did this the other day, or she used this tool the other day, and it reminded me I need to get one and do this on my sink. So. I went ahead and ordered one and it showed up at like 10 p.m. But I was like, I'm going to try that on the sink. And it works so well. I love this tool. It does have a lot of power. That's the one thing I was wondering about. Like, is it just like an electric toothbrush or does it have a whole lot more power? And it does. It's really super powerful. So I love the way that it cleaned out our sink. I'm just going to go ahead and clean out the rest of the sink while I'm at it over here. And we'll move on. These floors were filthy. I have not cleaned these floors in like a week and I haven't mopped them in like three weeks. Um, all during our decluttering journey, I just put it off, put it off, put it off and they were filthy. So I'm going to take my Dyson, get all of the dirt off the floor. I was going to do more close up shots, but it was like midnight. I was exhausted. And so we just got this taken care of. I'm also taking some spray away and wiping down all of the appliances to shine those up. Um, but then we're going to take my new Mr. Clean Gain Scented Mop or Floor Cleaner and we're going to mop in here and it is going to smell so good when we're all done. Highly recommend that, um, I'll try to link it below that mopping solution. It smells so good and the floors look 100 times better. I think probably in next week's video or in a video really soon, I'll take that power scrubber and clean the grout on my towel tile because our tile desperately needs the grout cleaned.
We're wrapping this kitchen up. We had a full day of cleaning today, whether it was deep cleaning or daily tasks, but such a good day of cleaning. We got so much done, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got lots of motivation to go tackle something that you need to get done, or maybe you watched today and it gave you the motivation to get up tomorrow morning and grab your coffee and get something done. But thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out Cozy Earth and get your 30% off with that link in my description box below. Such high quality sheets, as well as loungewear and several other things. So definitely check out Cozy Earth. But thank you again for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. But I will see y'all very soon. Bye.